Hello, welcome to another edition of AM Whiskey Reviews. I am your host, Ben Rosenthal. A little bit of an update, Uh, not a huge one, but uh, you'll notice this is a pretty uh, full glass. The glass is, is more than three quarters full, which tends to be how I see life in general, because I keep the glass three quarters full. Uh, it's my old, you know, it's my old adage. If you want to, uh, see the glass is half full, you got to keep the glass half full. Um, in any case, uh, yeah. Um, I feel like my body has been trying to tell me something. It is sending me a message. Everybody's body sends out these little, sends up these little flares. Uh, it, you know, it needs to, every now and then it needs to be heard and and my body has uh been it's been sore it's been uh it's been lacking in energy i've felt lethargic i've uh my muscles have been aching uh i've just been horribly fatigued uh for weeks on end uh you know i feel this sort of sense of of anemia or like iron levels that are low uh and i think that you know my body is trying to tell me something. It's trying to get the message to me. And I think that my body is trying to tell me uh, that I have not been drinking enough. Uh, And, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, these reviews are a step in the right direction. Uh, I'm getting a head start on the drinking. That's a good thing. But, uh, you know, uh, there's always somebody, you know, it's like you're doing push-ups in the army or the Marines and there's a guy standing over you and he's got a baton in his hand and he's saying more, more, faster, faster. Well, in those moments, it's not particularly pleasant for you, but you're grateful to that sergeant later on when you're in the field, you know, uh, when, when you're in the heat of battle, you know where that training is what that training was for. And I I think it's the same situation. I've got to get over the hump. I've got to, you know, I've got to power through. Um, So I, I, you know, uh, these reviews are just the beginning. Uh, I am, uh, I am uh, committed uh, to my health, to my health. Uh, So, well, let's, let's get started here. Um, I have got a, a, a vodka today, Zubrovka. I'm assuming that it says Zubrovka. It looks like it says Zubroka. Zubroka. Um, you spend all your money, so Zubroka now. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't, well, I don't know. Um, in any case, Zubrovka, there's a buffalo. Maybe that is, maybe that is uh, 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 Polish for buffalo. Not a country that you often associate with the bison. Uh, but, uh, that's again, a good sign when you have that kind of, uh, sort of, uh, inconsistency, uh, or paradox. It's, it's, it's a good sign for, for any kind of, uh, alcohol. Like there's a vodka called Olifant. Well, you don't think about elephants being in Russia very often. And so, yeah, and, and, uh, you know, um, it's good. It's a good, it's a good, good sign. Um, in any case, uh, Let's 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 dive right in here. Ah, okay, okay, all right. Uh, who would this be a good vodka for? Um, this is a great vodka for somebody who has uh, uh, lost their virginity in a grain silo. Uh, they have one or two siblings who have engaged in Congress, uh, sexual Congress with, with, uh, animals. Uh, but they, they, you know, you've lost your virginity in a grain silo, uh, you know, somewhere between, I don't know, the, the Balkans and, and like Bessarabia, um, and, uh, uh, the, yeah, you you know, like the grain that the people are eating, the groats uh, that they're eating have have basically uh, been through. They've sifted 
uh, they've been sifted through your bodies as they turned, as they awkwardly, as you awkwardly, uh, you know, tried to avoid, tried to avoid climaxing in the, in the grain chute. The sweat of you and, and the, the girl who, who uh, took your virginity in the grain silo uh, uh, is, is there with the groats. It's mixed in with the groats. Uh, it gets boiled out probably in the process of stirring the groats. You know, this is a, you're, the, the groats are stirred by a woman who in America would win any arm wrestling competition against anybody, um, male or female. Uh, uh, performance enhanced, performance drug enhanced or not, she's going to beat them. I mean, it's just, it just, it's just the way it is. And, um, you know, maybe the groats are stirred by somebody who like has the features of Melania Trump, but she's got her, her uh, hair tied up in a, a headscarf. She's just joyless. Her husband, you know, comes home and, and uh, the sex is only like halfway consensual. Like he's, it's a miserable alcoholic. Uh, but she's she's stirring the growths just joylessly, um, and she's got the features of Melania Trump, but she doesn't have that sort of far-seeing, open-hearted personality, the, the, that sort of uh, uh, marvel of an intellect that, that, that uh, Melania Trump has. She doesn't enjoy the, the sort of uh, true and respectful love that, that Melania enjoys with her husband. It's, it's the very opposite of what Melania enjoys with her husband. It's a, it's a, a bitter, self-serving marriage uh, rooted in, uh, you know, uh, pure, pure uh, uh, fiscal dependency and, uh, uh, and, you know, mutual dislike. Nothing like the Trump marriage. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, so like this is, this is the, 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 the vodka for somebody who has lost their virginity in, in a, you know, in or on a piece of farming equipment uh, in a place which is uh, shockingly primitive, uh, a place that when, say, uh, an invading army came through, uh, th they couldn't believe that they were invading this place because it was like instead of invading a place, they, they had gone on a, you know, traveled through time. They had gotten on a time machine. They're like, wait a minute, I didn't know this tank was a time machine. I didn't know that this motorcycle with the sidecar was a time machine. What the hell, where the hell am I? Um, you know, but in any case, that's the, that's the, that's who this is for. Um, yeah. Uh, in any case, uh, what would I pair this with? Uh, you know, I, I would pair this with, uh, a person who has a date with destiny. Don't ask me why, but I think, I think this is the perfect, the perfect drink for somebody, for a person who has a date with destiny. You're not the one, but, but you, you, the person next to you has a date with destiny. They are facing something momentous. They are in a state of transit, both physical and mental. You can see it. You can see it. They've got, they're staring into the middle distance because they're seeing the destiny. Uh, it's becoming palpable to them. Uh, this seems to me to be the ultimate drink to have next to a person who is uh, having a date with destiny. Um, yeah, and I think uh, that does it for the day. I, I, uh, I thank you for joining me. Uh, and for listening to my update, Nostrovia, uh, I shall see you next time. Over and out.